When we come back, caught on camera, Adam Tuss talks with a man who was carjacked at gunpoint, and he tells and talks about his frightening experience there. And when I saw the gun, um, I was scared. There's no doubt in my mind that I was not scared. There have been more than 100 carjackings in D.C. this year, a big spike from one year ago. News 4 has obtained surveillance video showing a carjacking that happened just yesterday morning. And the victim is talking with News 4's transportation reporter Adam Tuss about the frightening experience. Early Wednesday morning, about 2.30 a.m. at the mobile gas station along Pennsylvania Avenue Southeast, right next to DC 295, watch how fast it happens. A driver, who we'll call Tom, had stopped to use the ATM. A car pulls up behind Tom after he gets back in the driver's seat, and then in a flash, a man with a gun is telling Tom to get out of his car. The carjacker didn't know that Tom had his dog, Dusty, in the back seat. Tom pleads to let him get the dog out of the car. He does, and the carjacker speeds off. When I saw the gun, um, I was scared. There's no doubt in my mind that I was not scared. The victim, Tom, joining us via Zoom today. Are you replaying it in your mind at all? I do. Um, and I, look, I probably, probably there's me looking away. Like, I, you can't do anything but to play, replay it in your head. This is where he's like, get out of the car, get out of the car. Carjackings are way up, well over 50% compared to last year in the district. It's such an issue that there's now a carjacking task force designated just for these types of crimes. For Tom, the task force may have paid off. His car was found and brought back to him in just about half a day. The license plate and inspection sticker had been ripped off, so he believes someone may have called in a tip when they saw his car with suspicious-looking tags parked along a street in southeast. He thanks whoever called in that tip. However, in this case, the suspects still have not been caught. As for Tom, though, and his dog Dusty, they're thankfully both fine. Dusty is everything to me. He's my best friend. But let me tell you, had they done anything to my dog, <laughs> PPD, I would have a much more serious situation than the car itself. <laughs> well, we're very happy for Dusty. We're happy for you. Uh, we're happy you got the car back, and hopefully they catch these guys. This is something that's got to stop, and we're happy that, that most importantly, Tom, that you're okay. Thank you, Adam. I, 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 I really appreciate it. Adam Tuss, News 4. Smart move. I know a lot of us who have may have been given that same choice between the dog and the car. We choose the dog.